Well, Danielle, in addition to those systemic changes announced this morning, we also found out more about the investigation into the tragic death of a nine year old girl with disabilities back in January. And DCYF announced in response to that tragedy, five employees have been disciplined and three others no longer work there. Outrage through communities. A nine year old girl with special needs found dead in a home reportedly in squalid conditions in Warwick. The adopted mother, Michelle Rothgeb, arrested. The Department of Children, Youth, and Families scrutinized for allowing her to foster and adopt six children, three of them siblings, over the course of a decade. While not representative of DCYF, this case demonstrated that our safety net is not catching every single child and that's unacceptable. DCYF Director Trista Pacola announced major systemic changes to the department, which include no more than five children placed in a home without the director's approval, no longer placing unrelated children in the same foster home without director's approval, and the director's approval of all adoptive home study reports. Pacola said while these changes are in light of the tragedy, they're not a knee-jerk reaction to it. Instead, they've been in the works for a while, but couldn't be implemented in time to save the girl's life. We, like many systems, have been suffering from a shortage of foster families. So it's almost as though you have to solve problems A and B before you can pro solve problem C. These changes can now be made, she said, due in large part to their ability to increase the number of foster families by 25% in the past year. DCYF also announced additional personnel changes, including all staff working on the front lines with families have had additional training to assess a family's ability to care for a child. And they've also announced that the department has hired four other people to oversee workloads. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.